Hello, hello. Hi, Jorge, Nelson, and Lorena. Good evening. Hi. How are you feeling today, Nelson? So, so. So, so. Why? Are you tired? Mm. Yes. Yes. So you had a you had a very busy day. Mm, I have a busy, busy day. Okay, that's the reason why. Hey Jorge, can you hear me? Mr. Rivas, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? How are you feeling today? Easy day, teacher. And you? I had a little busy day. Uh, I had to do a lot of errands. So it was a, it was a very um, exhausting, exhausting day. But a good one. Okay. I think that. Uh, sometimes you feel tired, but you feel good because uh, your day was productive. So that is something important in, in my experience. Um, because sometimes you feel tired and you didn't do too much, right? So, yes, that's the situation. <laughs> Stephanie and Catherine, can you hear me? Hey, nice sweater, Nelson. Okay, Maybelline is here. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, guys, so I don't know that much about, about you, so I'm going to start uh, asking you some questions, right? So, Jorge, where, where are you from? Where do you live? I live in Apopa, San Salvador. Apopa, okay. You're from Apopa and you live in Apopa. Okay. I'm from the Apopa. Okay, perfect. Uh, what about you, Nelson? Where do you live? Or where I are you from? In, I live in, in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Okay, the Ciudad Morena. And Ricardo, good evening. Where do you live, mister? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Around the Paso de Nivel. Okay, around the Paso de Nivel, very good. Um, nice, let's see, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Where do you live, mister? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Lorena? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Where do you live? I live in San Miguel. San Miguel, like me. Okay. Very good. Uh, it's really hot. Yeah, you see, I am sweating. And it's night. <laughs> so it's hot and it's late at night. Uh, yeah, it's like we live next to the volcano, right? Maybe that's the reason why. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybelline, where do you live? Hi. Hi. I live in San Vicente. San Vicente, where yeah. all the people where all the people go. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't know San Vicente. I have never been to San Vicente. But, <laughs> but, but I am curious. I, I would like to go there. Um, <laughs> let's see, Norma. Where do you live, Norma? Hello, teacher. Hi, I welcome. live in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. 
So you are from Santa Ana as well as Nelson. Okay, nice. And Stephanie, what about you? I live in San Miguel. San Miguel. Okay, so we are three now from San Miguel, two from Santa Ana, and around five people from San Salvador, right? Very good. Uh, Catherine, what about you? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay, very nice. Jesus? Jack, where do you live? I live in San Miguel. Oh. I, I live in Oloquilta. Oloquilta. Wow, lucky you. You can eat pupusas at any time. All the time. Okay, very good. Uh, so, you know, when you go to La Quilta, you can visit Jesus, right? Let's continue with Irene. Good evening. I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Nice. Uh, Joanna? Hi, teacher. I live Hello. in Santa Tecla. Okay, Tecla. Excellent. Uh, Rosemary? Hello, teacher. Hello. I live in San Martin. San Martin. San Martin yes. be belongs to San Salvador, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Nice. Uh, Natalia? What about you? Miss Sanchez, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay, nice. Roxana? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I live in Lourdes. Lourdes, Colón. Okay, yes. I have a friend in Lourdes. Very nice. Um, let's see who's missing, who's missing, Kenya. Hi, teacher. Hello, where do you live? Hello, I live in San Salvador. San Salvador, nice. So you're going to the final, right, against FAS. So we're going to have a good match on the weekend. So we have Santa Ana and San Salvador in the soccer final. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Santa Tecla was very close, right? Uh, let's see, Josue Cordova. Good evening, mister. Monica, are you there? Monica, you did? I don't see the microphone icon. Maybe she has some problems with it. And now we have who else? Who is missing? Natalia Ines. Welcome. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Now we have uh, Jose Ismael. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Where do you live, How Ismael? Are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. What about you? Uh, yeah, I live in, in San Salvador. San Salvador. Nice. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we're going to ask later to the rest of your classmates, Juan Fernando, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Where do you live, mister? I live in Mexicanos. Mexicanos. Yes. Okay, Mexicanos. That is close to Apopa? No. 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 Okay. I need to I need to, to travel uh to San Salvador more often. Um okay, let's move on. Maybelline is really happy today. That's good. <laughs> okay. Uh so let's get ready. Uh, I'm not sure if uh Monica can hear me. Um or Josue, but uh, quickly, I will take the attendance. Uh, Irene Beatriz is present, here. teacher. Very good. Fatima is not here right now. No, that's strange. Um, Jessica, 
Jessica, Jessica. Nope, Jessica is not here right now. Uh, Jesus, Antonio. I think I saw Jesus. Yeah, right there. Present. Yes, present. Very good. Joanna Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Jorge is here. Ismael. Present, teacher. Jorge. Very good. Very good. Jocelyn. Present, teacher. Nice. Well, uh, Jocelyn Madaiz, not here yet. Jose Alberto. Jose Madaiz, teacher. Present. Yes. Juan Carlos Menendez is not here. Uh, Juan Fernando Diaz. Present, teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much. Carla Maricela. Carla, Carla. Let's see. No, we don't have Carla here. So we continue with the next person. That is Catherine. Present. Okay, perfect. Catherine. Uh, Kenny Emilet. Present. Good. Uh, Lorena. Here. Okay, there you go. Uh, Mario Adolfo. Not here yet. Maybelline Dariana. Present. Miguel Alexander Hill. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. But not a painter, right? Uh, Monica Judith. Present teacher. Good. Uh, next person. Wait a second. We have Natalia Ines. Present. Okay, Nelson Javier. Present. Norma Enriquez. Present teacher. There you go, thank you. Uh, Raquel Beatriz. Present. Ricardo Josue. Present teacher. Rodolfo Lopez. Not here. Uh, Rosenberg Armando. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, no problem. Uh, so Rosenberg is not here yet. Rosemary Janet. Present teacher. Rosemary, where are you from? Where do you live? I am live in San Martin. You live in San Martin, right? Okay, so who's missing from the people that are connected right now? Um, I think I already asked everybody. I haven't listened to Monica. Um, I think it's just Monica missing. Okay, let's continue with the attendance. Uh, Roxana Melissa. Present teacher. And Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, let's begin. Uh, so we already shared some information, right, about where we're from. And we got to the conclusion that the majority of you belong to San Salvador. There are some people from Santa Ana, uh, someone from La Libertad, San Vicente, and we have people from San Miguel here. So it's a very mixed group. That's uh, really nice because we can make new friends, right? And the time for us to start is now. I'm going to uh, ask you, what do you remember that we practiced yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we do? Something that you remember. Who works? Uh -huh. profession, uh, bingo. We play bingo with professions. That's correct. And bingo. And, 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 no, mimic. No sé cómo se dice. Mimica, mimica. Mimics. We play charades. Uh -huh. We play charades. Very good. So, um, and obviously, right. we practice the conversation, right? Okay. Now, let's get started. Uh, yesterday, I told you that today we were going to check, right, the, the exercise uh, that we didn't finish. 
And today we're going to have the conversations plus a little exercise for your tongue. Now I'm going to share the screen quickly, uh, share the sound and here we go. I got confused. Yesterday's session was session number seven. Today's session is session number eight, okay? So uh, we have two tongue twisters right here, okay? The first tongue twister is Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Number one. Number two, if three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? Easy, right? So we are going to practice the two sounds. The sound shh with the SH, right? Sh, like shoe, shine, and shop, and she, right? And we're going to practice the sound ch, which, watch, right? And the W, right? W, w, which, w, were, were, when, what, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Would, um, all, all the possible combinations. Watch. So Which, listen and repeat, work. listen and repeat. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Sally, Sally sits on a shoe shine, shine, shop. shine shop. It's not shoe show, right? Shoe shine. Okay. <laughs> not shoe show or shoe show. No, it's shoe shine. Okay. Don't invent, shine, don't invent yes. new words. Don't invent new words. Okay. <laughs> where she sits, where she sits, she shines, she shines, she shines. She shines. She shines. She shines. not she is she shines, she shines, and where she shines, and where she shines, she, shines. she, shines. she sits, she sits. She sits. She's. Okay, very easy. Now, I am going to say it completely and you will say it completely, okay? Don't worry if you diff, if you say it in different times, okay? Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. <laughs> Go. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Okay, there you go. That's the idea, right? That's the idea. Okay, number two, number two. Listen and repeat. If three witches were watching three watches, if three witches, if three witches, three witches were watching, watching three, three watches, three watches which, which witch? Which witch? Which witch? Which, which, okay, which, it's a different pronunciation, which, right? Which, listen, which, listen which, carefully, which. right? The, the first word is which, 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 which okay, which, like that, which. no T, no T, and the second word is which, which, so it's, which, which, está el sonido de la T en medio, right, which, okay, which, como que algo se corta en medio, así se escucha, which, um, which, sin pausa, which, con la interrupción del sonido de la T, which, okay, would watch, which watch okay listen and repeat if three witches were watching three watches which witch would watch which watch if three questions <laughs> Which one? Okay, nice try, nice try. The most important is that you try. So, uh, because of time, okay, and because we have activities from yesterday, I am going to assign you to practice these two tongue twisters plus an extra tongue twister that I am going to share with you in the WhatsApp group, okay? I am going to send you my, my favorite tongue twister to the chat. So you are going to practice the three tongue twisters and next class on Monday, on Monday, you are going to practice in the breakout rooms, okay? You are going to practice in the breakout rooms and you are going to say the three tongue twisters, okay? El lunes van en los breakout rooms, van a decir cada uno los tres tongue twisters. Estos dos más el que les voy a compartir en el grupo. 
the the one that I'm going to share in the group is called Betty Bottom. Betty Bottom bought butter, but the butter Betty Bottom bought was bitter. So Betty Bottom bought more butter to make the bitter butter better. That is a tongue twister number three. That is my, my number one, my favorite tongue twister. So uh, you have the weekend to practice, right? Tongue twisters. Let's continue, okay? You can use the reactions. If you like the tongue twisters, please, I, I want to know if you like the tongue twisters or not. Okay, I see one reaction, two reactions, okay? Jesus, Joanna, Catherine, Maybelline, yeah. Natalia, Nelson. Okay, very good, Rosemary. So you like the, the tongue twisters? Perfect. We're going to continue practicing on Monday. Let's continue. We are going to check the exercise letter A, okay? The exercise letter A is completed conversations, right? So number one, what do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin, okay? I study the violin. What is the complement for the next? And... Where? 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 Where did you go to school? Where do you go to school? Where? Where do you go? Do you go to school? Do you go to school? Very good. Where do you go to school? Next. I. I go. I go. Two. Okay. I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. Wow. What is next? Who? Uh, how? How? How do you like? Cuánto te gusta, right? How do you like? Your classes. How do you like your classes? I I like I like them. I like them a lot. A lot. Very good. Very good. So those are the answers for the conversation number one. Conversation number two. What? Do you what, what does what, what does, does Tania what does, do? Tania. Okay, ¿qué hace Tania? ¿A qué se dedica? What does what does she do? Mm -hmm. She's she's a teacher. She's a teacher. Okay. Remember that when you talk about professions or occupations in English, we need to say ah. I am a teacher, I am a lawyer, I am a doctor, a nurse, an electrician, right? So we need to use the article a or an, okay? Es necesario siempre que decimos a qué nos dedicamos, utilizar en inglés a or an. Eh, mm -hmm. Utilizamos an cuando la siguiente palabra empieza con un sonido de, de vocal, okay? Vocal. For example, architect. An, an architect. An architect. An architect, that's correct. If I say engineer, an engineer, right? An electrician, so an. Very good. So let's continue. She's a teacher. She teaches. Teaches, that's correct. She teaches. She teaches. She teaches. An art class. Very good. Continue. At, at a school, at a school in Denver, at a, right? At a school in Denver, school in Denver, school in, right? School in Denver, at a school in Denver. Okay, next. And what about Ryan? Where does, where does, where does, excellent. Where does he work? Where does 
He work. Where does he work? He work. He works. He works. He work. He works. Very good. For a big computer company. For a big company, right? You say for a, right? For a. Uh, he for works a, for a big company. Okay, for a big company. Company. A big computer company, uh huh, in San Francisco. Gotera, maybe, right? <laughs> okay, let's continue. What does he do exactly? What? What does? What does he do? What does he do exactly? He does exactly. Exactly. What does he do exactly? Answer. His. A website designer. He makes. How do you say el hace o crea? Makes. He makes. He makes fantastic, fantastic website. websites. Websites. Fantastic websites. Okay, he makes, or you can say he creates. He creates. Okay, he creates, el crea, right? So congratulations, that's correct, very good. Now we're going to practice the two conversations, okay? So we have the conversation one. Uh, I need uh, girls and boys, girls and boys, okay? So we're going to practice, okay? Girls, you, are, you start with the letter A, boys, you go with the letter B, okay? One, Two and three. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, let's chicas con letter A and boys with the letter B. Okay, one, and two, and three. One more time. Go. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, boys? I am full-time full student. I am a full-time student. I study the violin. I study the violin. Girls? I study. And where do you and go, where to, school? go to, school? to school? Very good. Boys? I go to, I go to the, the New York, York School, school of, music. of Music. Girls? Wow. wow. Wow! How do you like look your classes, boys? I like them a lot. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Okay. Now for the conversation number two, we switch. Uh, boys, you start the conversation. Girls, you continue with the letter B. One, two, and three. Boys. What does, what does Tanya do? She is a teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Very good. Boys? And what about Brian? Brian, where does he work? Girls? He works at a business company in San Francisco. Okay. Girls? He, what does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. He's a, He's website, a website designer. designer. He, designer. Designer. he makes, he makes, makes fantastic, fantastic websites. websites. Okay. Big round of applause for you. Una ronda de applausos. Okay. Awesome. So if you could pay attention here, something that is very, very important is two things. Number one, when we are talking about he, she, and it in the simple present affirmative, we are going to modify. We are going to change the verb, right? If you want to say, eh, Josué eh, va a Metro Centro los fines de semana. If you want to say that, for example, is, is it correct if I say, Josue, go to Metro Centro. No. 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 Go. Josue goes to Metro no. Centro. Very good. Go. So that is correct. Now, that is the rule number one. Okay. The rule number two, the auxiliary verb that we use to make the questions 
are the auxiliary verbs do and does. Do and does. Do you, do I, do we, do they? So if it is he, she, and it, what is the auxiliary that we use? Does. Does. So if you want to ask the question, for example, ¿Qué estudia Rosemary? How do you ask that in English? ¿Qué estudia Rosemary? What does Rosemary study? What does Rosemary study? Right? What does she study? ¿Qué estudia? Okay. Uh, if it is negative, we are going to see that later on, okay? But it's the same rule. It's the same rule for the negative. We say, for example, I don't study French. You don't study French. We don't study French. They don't study French. And for he, she, and it, we say doesn't. She doesn't study French. He doesn't study French. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Move on is continue, right? Let's continue. So I am going to stop sharing the annotations with you and I continue to the next slide. Let's practice. What are we going to do here? Okay, let me check this out. Okay, so listen to the teacher, that's me, and translate what he says. So I am going to give you five statements, maybe a question, maybe a sentence, but I will say it in Spanish. You will write it in English in your notebook, okay? Number one, number one, you write it in English, okay? So this is a little translation exercise. Uh, number one. Mi mamá trabaja todos los días. Number one. Mi mamá trabaja todos los días. Number two. Number two. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Mi mamá trabaja todos los días. Number two. ¿A qué se dedica tu hermano? ¿Qué hace tu hermano? It's a question, right? ¿A qué se dedica tu hermano? ¿O qué hace tu hermano? It's the same question in English. Okay, only one form. Simple. Next one. ¿Dónde vives? ¿Dónde vives? Number three. Easy. ¿Dónde vives? ¿Dónde vives? Mm -hmm. Number four. Ok. Los arquitectos, los arquitectos diseñan Diseñan casas. Los arquitectos diseñan casas. Number five. Number five. Very easy. ¿Dónde trabajan? ¿Dónde trabajan? Los ingenieros. ¿Dónde trabajan los ingenieros? Ok. Simple. Number one. What do you have for number one? What is the translation for number one? Any volunteer. My mom works every day. My mom works every day. Piece of cake. Number two. ¿A qué se dedica tu hermano? Brother, 
What does your brother your, your do? Brother that do. is right. What does your brother do? So number one, uh, my mom works every day. Okay, number two, you said, what does your brother do? Okay, uh, don't forget capital letter at the beginning, right? What does your brother do? Okay, number three. Number three. Donde vives? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live, right? I live in, and you said the answer, right? Uh, number four. Architects, okay, architects design houses, design houses, very good. And number five. Where, 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 Works. 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 What is the auxiliary? Do or does? If we Do. talk about ingenieros, that's plural. Do. Do. Where do engineers, Where do engineers work. Work. work? Where do work. engineers work? Okay. Where, Where do, do engineers, engineers work? work? Okay. When we say engineer, we refer to they. Okay. Tienen que identificar que el sujeto se es un plural. Entonces, eh, el auxiliar va a ir para un plural. Do. Ok, do. Because we're talking about they. Ok, si fuera, ¿dónde trabaja el ingeniero? Only one. Where does the engineer work? Ok, so that is the difference. Singular and plural in this case. Ok, excellent job. Congratulations. That was very, very good. So I'm going to move on to the next slide. I'm going to click here, wait a second. Okay, I'm going to eliminate this, clear all drawings. Okay, wait a second, here. Okay, um, we're going to move on and we're going to practice the conversation. The conversation is, I start work at five. So, I need you to practice individually with a partner, okay? I'm going to create the breakout rooms, but before that, I am going to say the conversation for you. Listen and pay attention, right? Listen carefully. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, by the way, uh, por cierto, right, by the way. Um, so, do you have questions about pronunciation? Re or re vocabulary? Recognize. Okay, how do you pronounce? Recognize. Okay, so, <laughs> oh. recognize, recognize. Oh, Don't you recognize me? Recognize, okay. Recognize. Midnight, that's another pronunciation. Midnight, uh -huh. midnight, medianoche, right? Uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, what do you do exactly? A announcer, okay, announcer. You write it announcer, but you pronounce it announcer. And what else? Oh, weather. Weather, okay, weather, el clima, right? Weather report. So uh, that's what you're going to practice in person. You can take the screenshot, okay? You are going to practice in pairs, in pairs, only two people. So you practice 
the two roles, okay? One conversation, you are Daniel, and the second conversation, you are Helen, right? So you practice two times. So for this, you will have three minutes, okay? Three minutes is enough. Uh, we are 23 participants. I see in the WhatsApp group that some classmates are having connection problems with the, with the uh, to connect to the class, right? So they have internet problems. Um, hopefully they can connect later and watch the class so that they can uh, understand and, and, and practice. So breakout rooms, we go in 23 people. So we're going to make 11 breakout rooms. Yeah, 11. One group is going to have three, uh, approximately. Ready, set, and accept the invitation, please. Okay, okay, Jose and Rodolfo. Okay, only Rodolfo is missing. Go to the converse, to the breakout room, please, to practice the conversation. Lorena and Adolf. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to send you to the breakout room number 10 and 11. I said the invitation now. Mario. Mario and Lorena. Okay, Mario, accept the invitation now to go to the group. Perfect. Mario, can you hear me? Report on K and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. I like my I like my, my my reaction in that picture in that screenshot, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, very good. Go ahead, okay. practice, continue. Very good job. So, so to I do. Really, what time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's a late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you what do you do exactly? I am a TV TV announcer. I do the weather report in KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I oh, love you. Oh, you're Helen sure. Black. Very good. <laughs> With a lot of emotion. Someone famous. Midnight? Midnight, yes. Big night? Midnight, yes. Big night? Midnight. Ah, ya me perdí. <laughs> I am a TV a big... announcer. I'm a TV I, announcer. Uh -huh. I do the weather report on the KA. Volvemos a practicar. You switch the roles. Okay, switch. Ya hicieron el cambio de roles. Okay. So if you finish, no problem. Gracias. Okay, so we are going. 
to go back to the session. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, now everybody's coming back. I activated the microphone, you see, I am, I am learning, I am learning. Uh, so, raise your, well, thumbs up if you uh, could finish with your practice, please. I want to know if you could finish with your practice so you can give me a reaction. Stephanie, Jesus, Miguel, Jocelyn, very good. Roxana, you finished. Excellent, Irene, Nelson, Miguel too. Juan Fernando, Rosemary, Natalia. Okay, Catherine. So, Kenya, everybody got to finish the, the conversation. I think only Mario has some problems to connect to this to the breakout rooms. So I'm going to do one practice with him. Um, where is Mario? He's coming back probably. Okay. Very good. So. Let's see if we have everybody back to the session. 22 participants, 23, very good. So uh, unfortunately guys, uh, some people had connection problems. They told me right now, but yesterday we had everybody in the class. So that was amazing. Uh, now we're going to uh, move on. Uh, let me see if Mario is here. No, he was having some internet connection problems. So I'm going to share the screen with you one more time, okay? Um, don't forget, right? Teacher, I have a question. Question, perfect, tell me. What is below? Below, okay. Below, in, uh, for example, uh, I'm going to share the screen with you to show you, okay? And here. So, as you can see, as you can see, uh, there is a picture of a woman in a clothing store, right? Below, right. below the picture, you can see a couple exercising at the gym. Below is a position, okay? Below, below the woman, uh, there is a, below is Ooh. under, under. Uh -huh. It's similar to under, debajo de. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Okay. So Thank we're going. Sure. No problem. You're welcome. It's, I like when you ask questions, okay? Because uh, when you ask questions, you learn more. When you practice or you participate, you learn more. Uh, now, we're going to move on, okay? We're going to move on. Uh, I was telling you that you need to pay attention, right? That conversations help you a lot. So you can invent your own conversations and you can practice, right? In your cell phone, in the mirror, uh, because in real life, you know that you're going to have conversations with people. So uh, copy the new vocabulary always. And what I did when I was a student was to write down the, the pronunciation as I listened in parentheses or slashes. Ok, una técnica bien antigua que yo utilizaba cuando estaba aprendiendo inglés era poner, como yo escuchaba que pronunciaba el profesor o el audio, lo que sea, entre paréntesis o plecas a la par de la palabra, como yo lo escuchaba, no como aparece en el diccionario con símbolos fonéticos, ¿verdad? Um, eso me ayudaba a la hora de estudiar y repasar, porque a veces solo sabemos la palabra, el significado, traducción, pero no, no nos acordamos la pronunciación. Y no tenemos tal vez a la mano donde buscarlo. Así que puede ser una técnica pequeñita, pero muy útil. Ok, let's continue. Ok, let's continue. Uh, next one is this one. Wait a second. Ok, pronunciation. Pronunciation is very important. So I need you to practice pronunciation. And one of the best ways to improve pronunciation Besides listening, además de escuchar, una de las mejores formas de mejorar la pronunciación is reading aloud, reading aloud, le leer en voz alta, ¿ok? Eh, si no saben la pronunciación, no la inventen, ¿ok? Cuando no sepan la pronunciación de una palabra, ahí la buscan. Ahí les compartí en el grupo de WhatsApp tres diccionarios, diccionarios muy buenos y una página eh, que es una combinación de YouTube y, y, e inglés 
ok, para escuchar cualquier palabra pron siendo pronunciada por un montón de personas en la vida real. Uh, so it's real, it's a really good uh, website. Now, eh, syllable stress, ok, but this is a different stress. No es el estrés que tenemos del trabajo, del estudio, ¿verdad? Uh, o de la vida. Syllable stress es la fuerza de voz que recae en una sílaba específica, en las palabras en inglés. Um, for example, how do you say profesor in English? Teacher. Teacher, teacher or teacher? Teacher. 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 Honestly, the stress. Where is the stress? In T or in sure? Teacher. Right? T. So T is big and sure is small. Right? Teacher. Teacher. That's correct. Um, it's like if we have uh, two coins, right? Imagine that you have two coins. One quarter and one dollar. One quarter and one dollar. So one is oh no, it's another one that is smaller. I'm going to use a, a nickel, a nickel, right? So that is a bigger difference. Imagine that you have the two coins, right? So the stress is the dollar. The normal is the nickel. So you say teacher. Now, how do you say, um, let's see. Damn it. Okay, how do you say hotel in English? How do you say hotel in English? Hotel. 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 Ah, hotel. Hotel. Okay, like this. Hotel. hotel. So the, the stress is in tell. Hotel, right? It's yeah. not hotel. It's not hotel. It's hotel. 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 Very good. So pay attention, right? Pay attention to the three words that we have in the, in the, in the, in the exercise. Listen and repeat. Denser. Company. 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 Director. Director. Okay. Director. So, Director. If you see, we have the little bubbles. So what we're Director. going to do in this exercise is you have three six words. We have three six words here. No la voy a pronunciar, no la voy a decir, okay? Lo que necesito que hagan es que las copien en su cuaderno y pongan las burbujitas así como aparecen en el ejercicio A. Okay? Que pongan la burbuja más grande en la sílaba donde ustedes creen o piensan o saben que va la mayor fuerza de voz. Where is the stress? Okay? Let's do number number 1. Pilot. Okay. How do you pronounce that? Pilot. Pilot. Where's the where's the stress? Where's the stress? Pi. Pi. Correct. Pilot. It's not pilot, right? It's pilot. Very good. So complete complete the number 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. Okay? So for this for this exercise you have only 2 minutes. Two minutes, beginning now, in your notebook, in your notebook, okay? okay. Copy la palabra y ponen la burbujita donde se sienten que va el estrés. I know. Um.
okay, the time is up. So um, what about the word number two? No. Activate your microphone and tell um, me the pronunciation. Lumberjack. 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 That is correct. Where is the stress? Where is the stress? Lum. Lum. That's correct. Lum. Lum. Lumberjack. That's right. Excellent. What about number three? Musician. 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 That's right. Musician. Where is the stress? C. 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 Musician. Okay, musician. That's correct. Musician. Z, right? Number three. That would be number three. Number three. Number four. Designer. 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 Yes, Designer. you are right. Designer. Where is the stress? Sign. Sign. Okay. Sign. A uh, designer. Number five. Fisherman. 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 Okay. Sure. What? Is, where is the stress? Fisherman. Fee. Fee. Okay. Fee. Fisherman, right? It's not fisherman or fisherman. So it's fisherman. Fee. Okay, correct. Fee. And the last one, number six. Cowboy. Cowboy. El chico vaca. No. Okay, that's vaquero, right? Cowboy. Cowboy, that's right. Okay. Uh, if you have seen memes, right, there is one that is Iron Man, right? So, and you see one man um, with the iron, un hombre con una plancha, el hombre plancha, Iron Man. So that's correct, cowboy, right? So guys, uh, for you to practice, okay, I just need you to study this. We're going to study on Monday, but I need you to study by yourself, okay? Vamos a, a ver esto el lunes con más profundidad in, on, and at, but it's better that you anticipate, right? Eh, una de las cosas que más me funcionó como estudiante era anticiparme un poquito a la siguiente clase para llegar a la clase no de cero sino de tener una idea verdad um, so please study the grammar focus number nine and try to complete the exercise okay try si se equivocan no hay problema porque están están aprendiendo y no es evaluación verdad okay so please do that practice the tongue twisters and quickly I am going to eh, take the attendance uh, I'm going to stop sharing the screen quickly. Do you have any questions or comments? No. No questions, no comments, no problems? Alguna queja? Nope. Any complaint? So let's see who is here. Uh, I will go from the last to the first. Stephanie? Stephanie, are you there? Yes. Lisette? Yes. Okay, Roxana? Present. Rosemary? Present. Rosenberg? Eh, Rodolfo? Rosenberg, problems with connection. Yeah, yeah, I know. Present, Rodolfo, present teacher. Rodolfo, present, okay, very good. Eh, Ricardo? Ricardo. Ra Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi, very good. Team. Raquel. Present. Norma. Present. Nelson. Fast Present. and Furious. Fast and Furious. Okay. The Flash. Natalia. Present. Monica. Where's Monica? Okay. Uh, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Miguel Alexander. Present teacher. Mario Adolfo. Lorena Yamilet. Present. Kenya. Present teacher. Catherine. Present. Present Car teacher. Carla. Present. Who's saying present? You. Okay, Carla is not here. Um, Juan Fernando? 
Present. Very good. Eh, Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Jocelyn. Present. Very good. Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Alexis, Jorge. Mm. Joanna. I'm here. Jesus. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jessica. Teacher Jorge present, teacher. Okay, Jorge is present. Yeah, I see. It. Jessica, not here. Hello, Fatima, not here. Irene. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so it was a pleasure. Today we finished teacher. on time. Hello. No sé si me mencionó a mí. Maybelline. El internet, no sé yeah, si... yeah. Maybelline, you're you're here. Don't worry. That's okay. okay. So uh, today we finish on time. Have an amazing. Uh, if you don't have any questions, that's all for me. Take good care of yourself. Practice a lot, and if you have questions or doubts or problems, please let me know. Okay. Saben okay. que cualquier cualquier cosa que les pueda ayudar lo voy a hacer. Siempre y cuando no sea dinero, porque soy profesor y ya sabemos la situación. ¿verdad? Ok. So, uh, hello. No sé si me tomó a mí la, la asistencia. Yes, Mario. Me había sacado. Don't worry, okay. Mario. I got you. Ok, Thank guys. You. Bye, teacher. bye. Mario See ya. También estaba bye. escribiendo en el grupo, bye. teacher. Yeah, he had some problems. That's right. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Bye. Bye.